Nick Yilkins sitting on a Bobby Moore statue on a wonderful day. Uh, West Ham versus Everton. We've got one of our competition winners here, Tom Burford. Tom, lovely to meet you, mate. Here's your price. Lovely stuff. All them lovely, lovely bits in there. You and your dad there. Have a, have a some beers for the way home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have a few beers on the way <laughs> home and things like that. Um, we've got Everton today, mate. Um, how do you see this one going? Uh, I was having a chat with the old man on the way out, quietly confident, very quietly confident. The only trouble I think we've got is where we're going to get the goals from. I think we might nick it by the odd goal. Um, Lukaku always scores against us, so he's bound to score at some yeah. stage. Uh, Baines being missing is big for us, I think, because he's always a threat from the set pieces. Um, It'll be a goal either way. I think we'll nick it. Two one. Colwyn's starting. So that's where the goals are coming from. I don't think so. <laughs> as much as I love the guy, and uh, he's, he's he's due a testimonial if he stays another season. I don't think he'll stay another season. But it's the same. He's one of those lo lovable characters, isn't he? Yeah. He's never had one good season under Zola. Um, but he's, he's just a lo I, I, I I like him. I, a lot of fans give him stick, but he's he's, he's loyal. Um, I know it was probably because he couldn't get a contract that he came back, yeah. but you know he's. He built up rapport with the supporters when a lot of them were against him, like in his early in his early career, and he worked hard and had two really good seasons when Zoda was in charge. And yeah. he's a fan favourite, I think now. He is definitely. Song and Jenkinson are playing their last, possibly their last games at the bowling. Um, mm. We've got a chance to sign one or both of them. Who would you take? I'd definitely take Jenkinson. I think um, he's actually the fullbacks have actually looked our most attacking threat at the moment um, since Downing's been pushed out wide. Um, I don't, and uh, when when Jarvis does get a game, I just don't think that they carry any threat whatsoever. Um, Cresswell and Jenkinson seem to want to go and attack their full backs, attack the box. Jarvis and Downing, they're just too predictable, cut inside, cut inside all the time. It's, um, it's predictable, and um, I'd definitely say Jenkinson. Song had a brilliant start, but he's gone off the boil. Mm. Um, but yeah, Jenkinson would be a great sign. And it looks like, from what I've been hearing, we might get him on another season loan, from what people have been saying. Mm. Um, Fenger wants to stick with Bellerin, by the looks of it, so I don't think he'll be starting when he goes back to Arsenal, which will yeah. probably be a key factor in it. Um, yeah, I'd probably go with Jenkinson. Well, I'd definitely go with Jenkinson, yeah. It could be Sam's last game of the bowling today. Mm. Um, um, what are you for or against him um, staying? I've been a supporter of him for a long, long time. Um, it's a real tough one. I, I would understand a decision, whatever, whatever way they make it. There's arguments for and against. The football's dire. It is really poor at the moment. Um, but you've got to say he's done what he's been asked to do. Um, got us up, kept us up, kept us up again. I know it might be a bit of a backdoor entrance to the Europa League, but. You know, it's a, it'd be great to have European football in our last season at Upton Park. I've only experienced one European night, which was when we lost to Palermo. <laughs> um, but that's the only time I've, with my age, the only time I've ever experienced it. So it'd be nice to have like a Europe, like an evening game at Upton Park. So, but like in the last season we're here. Tough one though. It's got to be, we've, you're, you've got to make sure you've got to have a, a, a good appointment lined up. I mean, there's no point going in for someone. People have been saying Moyes, but I think that's like for like for me. Um, you've got to go big. I, I quite fancy Loudrup. I think that'd be quite... He did well at Swansea. Um, Bilic is another one that people have been talking about, but hasn't hasn't had Premier League experience. Yeah. So, And what we want to make sure we are doing is got to be playing Premier League, League football when we go in the new ground. That's absolutely vital. And no matter what you say about Sam's football, he keeps teams in leagues. Simple as that. Yeah. Tom, final thing, mate. Sum up the season in one word. Disappointing. Only reason that is, is because we had such a good start, and this is kind of where my opinion started to turn on Sam, where we had a real opportunity to push on and attack a top six spot, we didn't do it. Yeah. And you can argue all you want about whether you should be dropping players in the Chelsea game for the own games. If you're going to be challenging for the top four, you have to play your strongest team every week, without doubt. Um, and I just think some of his decision making, when we could have pushed for more, more points than we've got, that's where there's question marks over him and I don't think he's certainly not the manager to be in charge of us if we're going to push on to that level to keep us in the league yeah okay we'll stick with him but 
I don't see any sort of progression under him, no, no, yeah. Lovely. Thank you very much, Tom. Enjoy your prize, mate. I hope you you enjoyed it. Thanks very much.